recent question that I've been getting numerous times through a lot of my clients are all about breathing. There's a lot of new evidence out there, especially that published by James Nestor in the book Breathe, has shown that there's a variety of things that can be done to improve your breathing. But one that I want to pay attention to is the muscles of the face, neck, and chewing. Now, when we chew, there are a bunch of muscles within our jaw, as well as face, that are responsible for moving the jaw, moving the bones within our face, to open up the cavity of our na uh, to open up the ca cavity of our nose, as well as our throat, to enable for food and air to pass down. So as you strengthen the muscles of your jaw, you're also strengthening the muscles of your face, which enable for more air to travel into your sinuses and down through your throat. Now, a lot of this happens because the muscles within the jaw they are anchored to your skull behind the zygomatic arch. These are your cheekbones. Now, these muscles, they go under the zygomatic arch behind your eye and into this part of your bone near called, you know, you got your temples here, you got your zygomatic arch and your occipital, and then your sinuses are directly in this cavity right behind your nose. So these muscles are pulling these cavities open and some of this, some of it's bone, some of it's soft tissue and cartilage, but all of it is malleable and can move over time. So the more you're chewing food and the more that you're using your nasal muscle, uh, the more that you're using your nose and your jaw to chew, sounds silly, but it's real. The, there's a lot more softer food now than there has been in the past, and people are shying away from the uh, shying away from the burden of chewing rough food and fibrous food over smoothies, acai bowls, which I love too, but it's affecting our anatomy and it's affecting our physiology for the worse. So without getting too into depth about the muscles and the physiology, I just wanna give four simple tips that you can use to improve the muscles of your jaw, your neck, your face, and your nose to help improve your breathing. Let's start with our nose. Something really simple that I've used and actually help people get off of CPAP machines and all sorts of other artificial breathing devices is simply forcing yourself to breathe through your nose. Now for me, it's gonna sound bad when I try to breathe through my nose, but I've broken my nose, I can't even tell you how many times, and for me to even have air go through is like, it's a, it's a, it's a gift. So uh, it's my own testimonial, but also from other people, uh, it really works. Simply, all you do is breathe through your nose and force yourself to do it. Just like any other weight training ex exercise, start basic, three sets of 10. Notice how much my muscles of the rib cage are moving just to pull the air through my nose. Now that's a whole, that's a secondary mechanism, which is part two of this breathing practice. But part one, just try to pull that air through your nose. Three sets of 10, mouth closed. If you really want to take it intense, get an oxygen pulse, uh, a pulse oximeter, look at your uh, blood oxygen and breathe until it starts to increase, relax until it normalizes, put it back on, breathe till it starts to increase and repeat. Now, once that becomes a little bit easy, you can set, you can go into single nostril breathing techniques and that will also help. It's hard work, but it's gonna change the anatomy of your nose and your sinuses. Number two, chewing. There are things out there like the jaws are size, and I've got my own little secrets that I use in order to help strengthen the jaw um, that I will share on another time. Um, but essentially, chew against resistance. It, chewing against resistance is something that's really going to enable you to improve your facial structure and anatomy, which is going to restructure the bones and enable you to breathe better. Sounds silly, but it's all connected. Now, number third, the third one kind of happened as a gimmick, 
I got this old book called Char Charles McCannon's Feats of Strength, written in the 1900s. And I saw, I went through this book, Feats of Strength and Dexterity, chapter one was teeth lifting. Now, I was at the gym with my teammates and we were kind of joking around. I was like, you know what? If we want to be badass, we got to start lifting shit with our teeth. Lo and behold, after a couple of workouts, we were noticing that the muscles in our jaw and face were changing and it was improving our ability to breathe. So I'm adding in jaw pulling into this situation and don't be dumb. Grab yourself a leather belt and a little bit of resistance and pull against it. Work yourself in the different planes and you can utilize that to improve your, the muscles of your jaw and your neck because your jaw anchors to your skull at the base as well as the neck because it's got to all be connected so you don't rip your own head off and break your own spine. Four, neck muscles. Now the neck and jaw are connected um, in many different ways. But how this affects breathing uh, may come as a no-brainer or could be completely overlooked. And that is because the neck and the jaw, as well as the throat, the larynx and pharynx, they're the passageway from your nose to your lungs. So having good posture and having good physiology and alignment here is essential to enable the air and food to pass properly. So having good, extra, uh, having good posture and having good structure there is essential for proper breathing. And a lot of this also has to do with the fact that the muscles of your, th of the muscles of your thorax, the anatomy of your chest are important for pulling air in and expelling air out. <sighs> if you got a weird anatomy where you're all like this, well, there's no leverage because the muscles are short here. Have good posture and, a lot, and enable your ribs to open up. And those are the four simple tips that you can utilize in order to improve your breathing. Simply put, stand up tall, breathe through your nose, chew your food, and have good posture. Keep your chin tucked and enable yourself to maintain this position as much as possible. For exercises, breathing through the nose, three sets of 10, chewing, grab some gum, chew some gum. Throw in a couple extra tridents in there for resistance. Make sure you're chewing with your jaw forward and not back. No overbites. Jaw pulling. Here's a simple way to do this without any simple, uh, any crazy apparatus. Take your jaw and just reach it forward. This will at least stretch the muscles of your face. Number four, for your neck, chin tucks. Lie down on your back, chin out, chin tuck, chin out, chin tuck. Should take you no more than five minutes and you'll be feeling better for the rest of the day just because you're breathing properly. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.